Hi, my name is Mario, and today I'm going to show you Ruby 2D. It's an awesome Ruby library which we're going to use to create 2D games quickly and easily. I'm going to show you how to use it. We start by loading the library and setting our window dimensions. Calling show here means that we'll display our window. Let's run the program and see what it looks like. You can see at the moment it's just a blank window. So let's set a background. In this folder I have this background image, which I want to draw to the screen. So now we're drawing our background to the window. What about some shapes? Let's start by drawing a square. So now you can see that we're drawing our red square. Let's draw some other shapes as well. So we can also draw things like triangles and circles. We're going to draw a yellow circle. Now let's draw a triangle. We're going to draw an orange triangle. For our triangle, we need to specify all three sides, the coordinates of each. You can see we're drawing our orange triangle. So what if I want to move one of these shapes? How about our square? Let's make it so that when I press the arrow keys on my keyboard, the square is going to move. So we'll create a variable here to hold the square. And as we hold down our key, this code will continuously run. When we hold the up key, we want the Y of our square to change. When we hold down, we're going to increase our Y. And when we press left and right, we're going to do the same, but to our X value. Now, as I press the arrow keys, you can see that the red square is moving around. So how about if we want to move something else around? How about if we have an image of a character that we want to move around instead of our red square? Let's replace our red square with our character. I'm going to delete our square here. And we're going to use this image here of our character. So this is a sprite image. We have four different images here. And the first one is the character stationary, and the following three are an animation for this character flying around. So here I've set the width of one animation frame to be 60 pixels, and I've also defined that the flying animation happens on the second frame, so counting at zero, all the way to the last frame. So now as I press the arrow keys, you can see that our character is moving around, but it's not animating. So we need to call some code to start that animation when we press a key.
When we let go of the key, we also need to stop the animation. Now you can see as I hold the arrow keys, the animation of the character starts. When I let go of the keys, the animation stops. Another thing we can do is we can create sound in Ruby 2D. We can play sound clips. We're going to play a sound effect when the character animates. I have this jump sound file here, this OGG sound file. Let's play that each time we press a key. We only want that sound to play when you press the key, not as it's held down. Okay, so that's our sound effect playing, and it should stop uh, once I let go of the keys. Another thing we can do is we can add music. I've got a background music file here that we're going to play on a loop in our game. As you can hear, now we've got our music playing, so that's going to play in our loop for the duration of our game. The last thing we can do is draw a bit of text to the screen. This demonstration is just a few of the features that are available in Ruby 2D. If you want to see what else you can do, you can head over to ruby2d.com. On the website, if you hit the Learn tab up the top, there's an installation guide as well as documentation on all the different features in the framework. If you get stuck, need a hand, or just want to chat to someone, then head to the Community tab and you'll find a link to Discord where you can discuss all things Ruby 2D. Thanks for sticking around and making it this far. If you're interested in more in-depth tutorials, then I have some videos on my channel where I recreate classic games like Snake, Pong, and Asteroids. And if you want to get notified of new videos, consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.